Hello, my name is Rob Hardy. Here at the nursery, I end up looking after all the secateurs we use and pruners. We basically use fruit pruners because they're nice and light and easy, and especially for the propagators when they use them because they're nice and easy to use. We always make sure the propagators get the new pairs. And the reason being is they're nice, clean, and won't cause any damage to any of the material they're doing because most of the time they're just using soft cuttings. And the reason we use these uh, secateurs or fruit pruners as we call them, is they're nice and light to use so when they're doing repetitive work it doesn't too hard on the hands. Once they've finished using them after a while and they start getting dirty we let them go out onto the nursery where they use them for cleaning up the plants, taking off all dead bits and preparing them ready for sale. Then I come in because for 10 years I was a butcher and one of my jobs on the nursery here is to sharpen them and clean them all up for them so they operate a little bit better for them. To clean the fruit pruners, all we need to do is just get some wire wool or steel wool or some uh, scrub pads and just clean them all off. And then we just oil them with vegetable oil. And then we have a diamond sharpener. And what we tend to do, or what I tend to do, is just run it over on the flat edge first to make sure there's no burrs on the inside. And I flip it over, do the same on the other side and make sure that's nice and clear. And for sharpening the angle, all I tend to do is just hold it firmly and then press down on the angle with a diamond sharpener three or four times, starting from the inside to the out. The same again on the other side, inside to out. And that's ready to go. 